so why i have done these underline orange one the green one why why you must be thinking why i have done so many underline the things are these my mistakes no these are not my mistakes these are my vocabulary words how i have learned it i will tell you one simple way so when you are writing when you are practice you are doing practice for your writing task one writing task uh, two please do write in your own language and then you just find out the words what you have repeated just underline the things and google it and just write two three more words and erase it and just write it then you will learn your own vocabulary not by making so many thousands of words list you will not learn anything practical what you can apply in the sentence according to the task 1 and 2 that is going to be a vocabulary counted in your band scores okay so i have shown my vocabulary you can see overall it can be seen that this is for com uh, compound sentence so these are connectors contrastial word however while in contrast uh, uh, on the other hand you can use so, so increase so i have noticed that increased word i have repeated three four times so i will be changing my word everyone i am monica from ielts 9 so we will be doing this bar plus pie chart combination of task that was part of 14 september 2024 ielts exam task one so one more task one is there so there are two there were two sets like actually morning and evening slots so you can always text me what kind of other question was there okay uh, yes here i can see here there are two uh, task one two diagrams one is pie chart second is horizontal bar graph okay if it is like it was like that then it is vertical uh, bar graph so this is also a definition vocabulary sorry that it is vocabulary so two uh, titles they have given for this percentage change is 2001 here it is given bottled water consumption so I can see the data is given, statistical data is given in percentages and they have given the name as well as the country, um, country's name as well as the color scheme also. But in actual exam you will not uh, definitely, uh, black and white was there. So because black and white was there some like light then, then little darker, then little darker, this kind of scene was there and of course for hair nothing was there only uh, one color is there that is green so i have just made it fancy but in actual exam you will not get like that okay so what i was doing it i was reading i was analyzing the writing task one if you do not spend first five minutes in analyzing and reading the task one graphs diagrams then it is not possible to get nine bands in your IELTS writing task one so i have no i have come to know that here there are two graphs and now uh, percentages let's see let's analyze this pie chart so the bigger share the pie segment the biggest pie segment is 48 percent that is western europe see this that is western europe and then australia is pink 15 percent then middle east is five five percent and then africa is five percent again ten percent is uh, this red one latin america and then gray one is New Zealand 13%, Asia and USA is 2.2, 2.2%. Okay, so this is the analyzing. So the, high, the highest share and the least one they are sharing. Uh, this is the first, this is the second. Okay, let's analyze this also. Uh, I can see this is the highest, this is the longest graph. So that is related to Asia and it is touching 14. It is 14%. Uh, bottled uh, water consumption consumption of water uh, water bottles like uh, taking of water in bottles that is the main thing here so this is the highest asia and which is the lowest this is the lowest western europe but here opposite surprisingly you can see western europe was highest in here uh, bottled water consumption and uh, percentage change is least here in western europe and asia is the number one and these are also equal these are also equal in it means in detail when i will be writing so i will combine these two countries i will combine these two countries okay yes so yes of course here percentage is clear but here it is not clear let's find it so when you have to read 
when you have to find the details means actual figures then what you can do like that how i have done it okay so it is 11 so this is less than 11 means this is 10 percent okay so 10 percent uh, around 10 percent it is not exact 10 percent this is exact 14 percent and this is between uh, 11 and 14 uh, we can say it is around 12 percent okay and uh, this you, we can say around 8 percent this is not exact okay here it is between 0 to 4 it means this is 2 percent now i have analyzed the details also and i have told i will combine these two countries i will combine these two countries also and uh, contrast i will be writing about the highest one and the least one also i will be joining these highest and least in one sentence while comparing the things now i have read everything that my work will become easier when I will be writing overall paragraph as well as detailed paragraphs. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything. At the end, first you should know uh, how to write introduction, overall paragraph and all. In the end, I will show you uh, this uh, vocabulary also. Everything I will be showing you at the end. So, yes, everything we have done. Now, as you know, we have to write 50, 150 words. Okay, but doesn't matter if your words are coming out 180 or 190, but it doesn't mean that you will be writing 250 words. No, you can erase some words, so some ready-made lines, but here, whatever it is given, figures, you should present it correctly. It should not like that and no extra words should be added from your own knowledge. So 150 words and paragraphing is important. So here I would suggest three or four paragraphs are important. So in fact, it's a combination then definitely four paragraphs will be there. First will be introduction. Second will be overall and then talking about uh, bar graph and then talking about pie chart automatically four paragraphs are there okay now coming to how to write introduction introduction means uh, you have to paraphrase the question statement simply you have to paraphrase the question st statement as well as um, uh, some uh, some important things also you can present in different way so the pie ch uh, the pie graph below shows so i have written the given pie chart okay the presented pie chart also you can write presents shows i have changed presents data on consumption of data on consumption of bottled water see this i have paraphrased same paraphrasing they are doing it in reading also so uh, bottled water we have written consumption of bottled water in eight countries in various regions here we know we are doing with eight countries in 1999 uh, while the bar graph illustrates so we know uh, instead of and we have written while the bar graph illustrates changes in consumption in the same regions worldwide in 2001 so the statistical data so next is the statistical data is presented in percentages so this is also important line so what is the important line we should not ignore it see presents or depicts you can write illustrates also and uh, if there are two tasks i'm talking about combination of combination of tasks so while important it's important to use while or on the other hand or uh, in contrast or however so this line is also important the statistical data is presented in percentages so this is your introduction now coming to overall paragraph overall paragraph means the important things we will just highlight over here but without figures no figures will be there so we will talk about this highest we will talk about this highest also we will talk about the lowest one also see this this lowest one also let's and the second one also we can talk but without figures so overall it can be seen that overall it can be seen that this is also ready-made line you can use it western europe used most of the global water see this western europe uh, global watered bottle supply and witness the least growth in consumption so witness the least growth see, this is the least growth while full stop is there while asia had the smallest share in utilizing bottled water see this asia asia is here around green one so i will show you asia 
this is asia so asia is green least and but here it had improved a lot okay so we can see this um, uh, uh, had the smallest share in utilizing bottled water and had the fastest growth rate as can be visible from the bar chart okay so this is our overall graph overall this thing now uh, how to write body detail paragraph so this is also important question for everyone so in first bo in body detail paragraph you can write first about uh, pie chart then you can write uh, last paragraph about so here in one body paragraph you can talk directly about pie chart in second you can talk directly about everything about this bar graph that's also okay so if you talk about country wise then it will be good means more comparison things will be visible or in your uh, detailed paragraph so how i have done you can just see it so first i will talk about this bar graph but side by side i am talking about country wise also so if i am talking about uh, this uh, middle east australia and all then definitely i will be talking about this also and i will be talking about this percentage also see this how i have done so first analyzing the pie chart uh, analyzing the pie chart middle east and africa were few bottled water consumers with only 10 percent combined in 1999 see this middle east so middle east and africa because already i have talked about this country so i have just uh, same same i am just talking about five percent five percent middle east and africa only five percent and later on middle east and africa they have grown with 10 percent okay so see this Analyzing the pie chart, Middle East and Africa were few uh, bottled water consumers with only 10% combined in uh, 1999. However, in 2001, the rate of bottled water consumption increased by nearly 10% in both the regions. So, some uh, in both regions or both the regions. Okay, so this is full stop for my first two countries. Okay, now next country. Uh, so, New Zealand and Latin America. See this? We will talk about New Zealand and Latin America. So, what about this orange, uh, red and black? So, New Zealand and Latin America, you can see 10 and 13 percent. And here, Latin America and New Zealand is around 12 percent. So, similarly, New Zealand had 13 percent share and Latin America uh, had just 10 percent of uh, global consumption water uh, water bottled global consumption which displayed 2 percent growth rate from 10 uh, from 10 to this percent which displayed 2 percent growth rate in each country uh, at 12 percent as per data shown in bar graphs in 2001 so i have talked about these two countries because in overall paragraph we have talked about western country western europe and asia that's why i have started with uh, these two countries that we have not talked about now next yes in in pie chart because we are talking about pie chart in pie chart moreover western europe consumed so now we are talking about western europe the highest one with the highest percentage so uh, moreover uh, Western Europe consumed 48% packaged water uh, ranked uh, ranked number one among other countries in 1999 which this is not full nothing nothing is there which was followed by Australia with 15% intake which was followed by Australia with 15% intake so this is Australia 15% now we have given uh, ranked number one and two now this is about pie chart so everything we should not write it only important things you should write now we will talk about this because this these two country these two countries we have already talked about now usa and australia and these countries are left so looking at the bar graph where it can be noted that asia witnessed the highest growth rate in bottled water consumption at 14 percent in contrast, Western Europe was grew at the just 2%, at just, it is wrong, at just 2% percent percentage, the smallest growth ratio. See this, first uh, we have talked about the highest and in contrast, the smallest uh, growth rate, that is Western Europe. New Zealand and little, uh, it is not little, it is Latin, 
America experienced the same growth rate at around 12%. I think I have repeated this line. So you can ignore it. You can talk about USA. That I have left. USA and this you can talk about in separate sentences. So this is my essay. How you can explain it. Doesn't matter if your words are coming out for 200 or 180 or 190. But at least give proper information. Okay. Thank you so much.